It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas. This is Panay News Tonight. Here are the top stories of the day. A large fire struck several business establishments near the public market of Digbawan, Iloilo earlier today. According to Provincial Fire Director Chief Inspector Vinci Jojo Aldeguer, the fire began inside a computer shop and quickly spread to other stalls. Although the computer shop was reportedly closed at the time, workers in the neighboring salon first noticed the fire spreading from the shop next door. The Tigbawan Bureau of Fire Protection clarified that the stalls are not part of the Tigbawan public market but are located across the road. The cost of the damages has been estimated to around 18.7 million pesos. Investigations are ongoing regarding the exact origin of the fire. Around 1.6 million pesos was stolen from a gasoline station in Barangay Tabuk Suba, Haro, Iligo City this morning. According to Haro Police Station Chief Police Captain Eduardo Chacon, the station's employees found that the door to their office had already been opened and the safe containing the money was missing. CCTV footage showed three possible suspects, all wearing jackets and face masks. They are also seen riding motorcycles upon fleeing the area. Police investigations also show that one of the suspects used a ladder to climb and move through the ceiling to enter the office. Police are currently searching for the suspect's whereabouts who were last seen riding in the direction towards Haro Plaza. The family and friends of the pawn shop manager who was killed in Poblacion, Calibo, Aklan yesterday are calling for justice. The victim, 23-year-old Bona Hersha Ambay, was found dead on the floor of the RD pawn shop located along Mabini Street, Poblacion. Police have identified 31-year-old Mark Archie Torrefiel as a person of interest as he was the security guard on duty on Sunday, June 5. Security camera footage showed Torrefiel leaving the pawn shop at around 5 p.m. on Sunday, bringing with him his agency-issued service revolver. Police have recovered Torrefiel's service firearm with five live ammunition wrapped in a red cloth and blood-stained security guard pants found at their home in Barangay Mahilo, Makato. The victim's father, Bonifacio Ambay Jr., called on police to ensure the suspect is brought to justice and offered a reward for information that might lead to his arrest. Calibo Police Chief Major Jason Belsina said they have not yet established the motive for the killing and are continuing their pursuit operation against the suspect. And those are tonight's latest headlines. This is your anchor, Elisha Lissaria Pumida. Good evening. For more stories, check our website, www.panaynews.net. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Grab the digital copy of Panay News on Press Reader. Read Panay News via the Inquirer Plus app and avail a free 30-day trial. Join Panay News community on Viber. Don't forget to always wear your face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands, and observe proper physical distancing.